right, grade five. Big idea for data relating to statistics. Collecting, displaying, and analyzing data helps us to solve problems and understand the real world. Our concept to demonstrate an understanding of the difference between first hand and second hand data. Uh, Connect section unit seven, lesson one. There's also some for maximizing math and the online Black Gold student workbook. So, first and foremost, data collected by yourself is called first hand data. So, if it's collected yourself, it's first hand data. Data collected by someone else are called second hand data. So, data collected by someone else, second hand data. So, different questions can be answered with different data, and the data can be gra graphed in different ways. Examples of first-hand data. So, remember, data, first-hand data is something you've collected yourself. Um, what is our class's favorite flavor of ice cream? So, maybe we've conducted a survey and we've collected each person's favorite flavor of ice cream. What type of sports did our class members play this year and last year? Maybe we've conducted a survey and we've asked them specifically what sports you played this year and last year. You collect first-hand data by measuring, counting, surveying, or experimenting. So you are doing the measuring, you are doing the counting, you are doing the surveying, and you are doing the experimenting. Those would all be examples of first-hand data. Example of second-hand data. What is the population of each major city in Canada? Well, you wouldn't have collected the information about the number of people in each major city in Canada. That would mean you'd have to travel all across Canada. You'd have to conduct those surveys. It's not something you're going to do. You're going to get that information from an encyclopedia, an atlas, a database, somewhere on the internet. That's considered second-hand data. What is the average monthly temperature in Calgary and Edmonton? Again, you're going to get that information somewhere else. If it was just Edmonton, perhaps you measured it yourself. But because it's Calgary as well, and we're not in Calgary, it's secondhand data. You've got that information somewhere else. Maybe you've gone to the Weather Network site, and you've gotten the information on the internet from the Weather Network uh, site. So that would be secondhand data. All right, let's look at some examples. We have Ms. Rosda's class who's studying weather. Maybe they're in grade five and they're doing weather as well. The students measured the rainfall for five days. So the students measured it. Mrs. Rosda's class then results, sorry, for Mrs. Rosda's class, these results are first-hand data. For you, these results are second-hand data. All right, so let's take a look at their data. Uh, they had five millimeters on Monday, nine on Tuesday, zero on Wednesday, Thursday they had 12, and Friday they had one. So from this data, we could see that there fell, more rain fell on Thursday than any other day. There were two days that uh, had no rainfall, Wednesday and Friday, and so on. So for them, this would be considered first-hand data, whereas for us, because we're looking at what they've collected, it becomes second-hand data. All right, so these students also looked at second-hand data from a government website. So if it's second-hand data, it's gotten from somewhere else, they've gotten it from a government website. Uh, they had annually average precipitation, so every year on average, this is how much uh, precipitation or rain snow falls from the, uh, the sky. Uh, Winnipeg, 504 millimeters, Regina, 364 millimeters, Edmonton, 461 millimeters, Calgary, 399 millimeters, Vancouver, 1,167 millimeters. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I know right now I wouldn't want to live in Vancouver. I do not like a lot of rain. Uh, but from this data, the students know that Vancouver usually has more precipitation than the other two cities together, an awful lot more. Regina has the least precipitation of the five cities, so maybe that should be my choice if I don't like a lot of rain. Uh, regardless, this is second-hand data. It has been gathered from a government website. Right, to practice. With your group members, you are discussing 
whether or not the following situations are first-hand or second-hand data. Um, I'll read each one and you can press pause and discuss with your group members. Zach observes his guinea pigs each day for a week and records the amount of food the pets eat. Press pause and discuss now. Is this first-hand data or second-hand data? Press pause now. B. Nina looks up the types of energy used in Canada and how much is consumed each year. Is this first-hand data or second-hand data? Discuss with you, this with your elbow partners now. Press pause and discuss it now. C. Cameron looks up the amount of plastic and paper recycled each month at his local paper. Press pause and discuss whether or not this is first or second-hand data. Do that now. D. Alyssa observes her friends for a month and records the number of times they each forget their pencil or paper for school. Oh my. For some friends, that might be a lot. For some, it might not be at all. Um, Alyssa observes her friends for a month and records the number of times they forget their pencil or paper. Is that first-hand data or second-hand data? Press pause and discuss that with your group members now. And lastly, we have another A added that one in there. What are the birth rates for the provinces of Canada? So how many children are born for uh, the provinces of Canada? Press pause and discuss if that's first-hand or second-hand data. Um, all right, a couple things we need to consider when we're looking at these. Who would need to do the survey? And where would you need to go to get the data? Is it likely you would go there yourself to get it or not? All right, so first we have Zach, who's observing his own guinea pigs, probably in his own home, for each day of the week and records the amount of food that the pets eat. Probably that's first-hand data. He's collected that himself. It's in his own home. He's recording the information. Nina looks up the types of energy used in Canada and how much is consumed each year. Well, would we be able to measure how much is consumed each year on our own? Definitely not. We're going to have to use a database to find that information or a website. So this would definitely be second-hand data. C. Cameron looks up the amount of plastic and paper recycled each month in his local paper. So he's looking at his newspaper, his local newspaper, to, to figure out this information. Is he looking at a first-hand source? Is he collecting, measuring, experimenting himself? No, he's not. He's looking at another source. He's looking in the newspaper. So that would then be second-hand data. Alyssa observes her friends for a month and records the number of times they each forget their pencil or paper for school. Well, she's doing the observing, she's doing the recording, she's taking down the information, she's conducting that experiment, that would make that first-hand data. And lastly, what are the birth rates for the provinces of Canada? Would we know, would we be able to collect how many people were born in Alberta? How many people were born in BC? How many people were born in... Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland. We're probably not going to go to each of those provinces and to each of the cities, towns, and so on and collect all of that information ourselves. We're going to go to a database somewhere on the internet to look that up. Maybe it's at Census Canada. Uh, that would definitely be second-hand data. So when we're considering if it's first-hand or second-hand data, who would you need to survey? Where would you need to go to get that information? So if you're going all over the place, it's unlikely you're collecting that information yourself. You're probably going to be looking at a database and then it becomes secondhand data. All right, concept practice, page 260, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, to demonstrate an understanding of the difference between first-hand and second-hand data. What's first-hand data? What's second-hand data? How has that been collected? Uh, go ahead and do those questions now. Remember, of course, if you have any questions along the way, that you please ask.